everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! <laughs> well, yesterday I sat down and I filmed a full first impressions video of a $700 Colourpop haul. Unfortunately for me, when I imported the footage today, I realized that I was so damn pale that I was blending into the wall behind me. Archie, can I, can you please not? There's nothing in my teeth. No, I said there's nothing in my teeth. Oh, there is, oh my God. You know what? I think that actually worked out pretty well. How about that? Well, I, I shouldn't have said that. The amount of comments I get telling me that I look like Danielle Brigoli and now I'm saying how about that? No. 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 Jaclyn Hill wouldn't stand for this. What are you doing? I'm putting on foundation. What are you doing? Putting on foundation. What are you doing? I'm using a beauty blender. What are you doing? I'm blending it out. Uh -huh. Well, I'm loving it. McDonald's. I do feel like it is way too fair for me. Okay, so the concealer has really, really creased up on my eyelids. So I'm going to... Ah! No! Oh my god, don't drop that! Ah. That's full of powder. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. I realised I have to film the entire video again. This might not be a first impressions video anymore, but at least I have tried out all of the products now and I can give you guys some sort of proper review about them instead of just like based on using it once and that's it. So what I'll do is show you guys the looks that I've created so far. There was the look that I put on yesterday when I did the first impressions. Then this morning I woke up, put on this makeup that I'm wearing now, worked all day and now I'm home and I can give you guys the results, like a wear test kind of thing. And then what I'll do is take this off and then put on another face of makeup so you guys can actually see me applying everything. Now, like I said, this is a $700 haul. Now that's 700 US dollars, which is 500 Australian dollars. That is absolutely nuts. And I do not recommend that anyone goes and drops that much money on makeup in one go. The only reason that I can justify doing that is because I'm trying to get into makeup now. And obviously if I make YouTube videos and I put ads on them, I can make money off it. So I can kind of justify spending a fair bit of money on makeup because it means that I can give you guys a review, I can make some revenue off it. I'm not sponsored by Colourpop, I don't make any affiliate money from it, but I did decide to review Colourpop because so many people have been messaging me about it for so long. And I wasn't going to do it at first, lots of people were asking me, but I was like, yeah, it's not available in Australia though, like I'll have to buy it online and I won't be able to try anything. But then my mum came along. A random email appeared in my in box a couple of weeks ago. It was from Colourpop and it was a $5 off coupon and it had been generated because my mum made a purchase on Colourpop and then apparently if you refer a friend and the friend buys something, they get $5 off and you get $5 off your next order. And I got a call from my mum and it basically went like this. Alex sweetie, I was looking at your video the other day and lots of people were saying in the comments that you should buy Colourpop. Do you know that brand? Have you ever heard of it before? Yes, mum. I have heard of Colourpop, but you can't buy it in Australia. Oh, well, I bought some online and they gave me a $5 coupon. So if you buy something, then I'll get $5 off my next order. You know what, mum? Sure. $5 off sounds like a great deal. I'm one of those people that if I see a, a sale or a deal, I will spend way too much money purely because I know that I'm saving money. Doesn't make much sense, but you know. Thank you, mum. Thank you for convincing me to buy from Colourpop. You're probably going to have a fit when you realize I spent $700. But it's all in the name of science because I'm testing everything out for all of you guys at home and you guys can see if you like any of it and then maybe you guys might want to buy something too. Now, like I said, Colourpop isn't available in Australia, 
but you can buy it on their website and they have free international shipping if you spend more than 50 US dollars. The products are made in America, they're cruelty free and they're vegan and what I don't understand is how they can do that but sell it so cheaply. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Made in America, cruelty free vegan and some of this stuff is only five dollars. I was very confused and I tweeted Marlene Estelle who's the owner of Makeup Geek. She's kind of having this predicament at the moment where she's trying to decide whether or not they're going to manufacture Makeup Geek in China to reduce the costs. They've been manufacturing it in America since they started but they've been sort of seeing their business going downhill because they're kind of expensive and people aren't buying it. So she tweeted the other day about the fact that she was thinking of getting stuff made in China. And I sent her a tweet and I was basically like, well, Colourpop's made in America and it's really cheap and it's really, really nice. How can they do that? And she responded to me and she basically said, Colourpop can sell cheaply because it's from lab to consumer, so costs are cut there. They do a great job for that price point. So there you go, guys. That's why it's so cheap and it's made in America. They Apparently they sell it from the lab to the consumer. So I guess there's no middleman and no additional costs in between. What I'll do, I'll go over all of this stuff now and I'll tell you the prices and my opinions of everything and then we'll have a look at some of the footage from yesterday which is very embarrassing, please don't judge me. Then I'll tell you a bit about what I'm wearing now and then we'll wipe all of this off and then do something new. And it's something that Archie is going to really, really enjoy. Yes, by the way, this, this is Archie. He's my feathered son. He's a bird. He can get a little bit annoying if you're this sort of person and you don't like birds. So if you're planning on leaving a comment like this, how about you just go now and watch someone else's video about Colourpop that doesn't have a bird in it because the bird stays. So with that, let's jump into this stuff and have a look. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Primer and Setting Spray Duo. Now this is 18 US dollars, 25 Australian dollars. I wasn't hugely impressed. I mean, it claims to be fine line and pore minimizing, but you know, the cold hard truth is that if you have lines, nothing can save that situation. <laughs> and the setting spray is supposed to be mattifying, but I sprayed it on earlier today and my forehead is completely shiny. So yeah, you know what? I would say potentially skip this. So if you have any recommendations, drop them down below if you know something within a similar price point to this that works really well. Cause I didn't really find that either of these worked. Now I did pick up a brow kit, this one here. This comes in nine different shades. It's $20 for the kit. Now the only items I ended up using out of the kit were this little pot here. Now I fell in love with this. This is the shade Auburn and it's pretty much perfect for me, which is very, very unusual because I normally really, really struggle to find a shade that's right for my brows. This little pot on its own is only six US dollars or $8.50. I will be buying this again and again and again because I think it is fantastic. I've had these brows on all day. They haven't wiped off. I did seal them with this little sort of gel that came in the kit. And the kit does also come with these two eyebrow pencils. I don't think they're anything to rave about to be honest, but they are cheap. When you compare them to something like a Benefit brow pencil, I guess the Benefit brow pencils are more expensive and it does actually look kind of the same. So I guess when I think about it, yeah, I guess they are good actually because they're so cheap. So yeah, I guess I do, I do recommend the kit. Now the next thing that I picked up was foundation. So in yesterday's video, I ended up using both of these shades. Guys, how do I color match myself? I normally just go to Sephora and ask them to do it for me. What do I do? I think the lighter one. Maybe I'll just mix them both. These are Fair 30 and Fair 35 and I mix them together. At the moment, I am wearing Fair 30, the lighter shade and when I went out of the house for the day, I realized that it is way, way too bright for me, but I did kind of feel like Fair 35 was a little bit too dark. So I think I will have to continue mixing these two. Now, a little fiasco that I encountered yesterday after putting on the makeup, I did my video, the one that flopped, and then I went out for dinner and I went to a Korean barbecue and I was cooking the meat and there was a lot of smoke coming up from the barbecue and my eyes started watering. I went to the bathroom and I had the clearest, clearest tear streaks all the way down my face. The tears literally wiped straight through the foundation. It was up until that point that I was like, this foundation is the best foundation ever. I love it. I'm buying this for the rest of my life. But then that happened. So if you're planning on crying a lot, then I don't recommend this foundation. Oh, good Lord. Archie, for the love of God, no! 
pulled a button off my top. You are a mongrel. You're a monster. Get away from me. So yeah, the foundation. I don't know if I can really recommend it because yesterday it literally peeled straight off my face as soon as the tears started to fall. Today I have been able to wear it for a full day and there's been no tears here and it is lasting. So I guess if you're not crying, you'll be fine. There are 42 shades in this foundation range, which is insanity to me. That's amazing. So I think that you'd be able to find a shade for you. It's 12 US dollars, which is 17 Australian dollars. And I think that's very reasonable. I have enjoyed it so far, but like I said, it really didn't hold up against the tears. Archie, no. Oh my God, he's got another button. How the heck? Give me that! Give that back! No! No! You're a monster! At the moment, I am wearing the concealer that I picked up. Now, this is the shade Fair 2. In yesterday's first impressions video, I used the shade... Fair... I used the shade Fair 4, which was a much better match for me under my eyes than Fair 2. It's funny because I picked up Fair Double Zero, which is pure white, and I got this as like an eyeshadow base or for cutting the crease. I thought that the shade Fair 2 would be perfect for me, but it is way too fair. This is more John McLean. I thought that Fair 4 would be too dark, but even this is too light. There are 30 shades of concealer in this range, which is, again, amazing. And if you are fair like me, don't go for the fairest shade because the fairest shade will be too fair. The concealer is six US dollars, which is eight fifty in Australian dollars, and that I think is better than shape tape, to be honest. It has a very, very unusual consistency, and I loved it. I thought it was so, so easy to blend out, so easy to work with, very, very pigmented as well, covered up my dark circles. So I do definitely recommend the concealer. I also picked up the face powder. Now this is nine US dollars, twelve seventy Australian dollars. I don't know if I can recommend this. This comes in three shades. It comes in translucent, banana, and then translucent dark. It is all right, but it won't replace my RCMA powder at all. Later in today's video, you'll see me applying this. This is a nice shade on my skin, but I don't think that it locked anything in place very well. At the end of the day yesterday, I noticed that my foundation was really breaking apart anywhere that I might be a bit oily, and I feel like this should have really prevented that, but it didn't. I picked up two contouring shades. These, when I used it yesterday, I didn't actually set my foundation before putting this on, and it was so, so patchy. It was really clinging to my foundation, and I wasn't impressed at all. But today, when I did this makeup, I had set my entire face with the translucent powder and then I applied the bronzer contour over the top and it worked perfectly. So these, for $8 US, which is only 12 Australian dollars, I definitely recommend these. These are great and they come in these beautiful little compacts and they're magnetized and they have a mirror inside. Now blush. I picked up four different blushes. Don't you, don't you take another button. No more buttons. You've had enough. I picked up four blush shades. Now, at the moment, I'm wearing this one, which is Parallel, and it is a pearlized super shock cheek. This is gorgeous. I honestly, I think it's one of the best blushes that I've ever used. I adore it. Yesterday, I ended up using the shade Get Laid. I didn't really like the way that this applied. I could have been using the wrong brush, possibly, or maybe it was because, once again, I hadn't set my entire face. I'd only set under my eyes, and then I went on with the contour and the blush, and it was very, very patchy over the top of the foundation. So I will have to try these other shades out. I got Holiday, and I got Prenup, plus the blush is only eight US dollars. That's about 11 or 12 Australian dollars, so that is definitely worth it. I also picked up six highlighting shades. Now these, again, are the same price as the blush. I wasn't that blown away by these. I feel like the whole internet goes crazy over ColourPop highlighters, but I didn't think they were that great. In yesterday's video, I used Over the Moon. That was quite nice, very purpley, but I found that I really had to dig my brush into it to get any result. I also used the shade Spoon, and once again, it just, it didn't have much of a color payoff at all, so, they did leave me a little bit disappointed, but I do kind of feel like that's because there was so much hype around them from everyone else's videos that I've watched that I just kind of felt like it would be the best highlight that I've ever used in my life, and it wasn't. So I guess when you're thinking about price, they probably are worth it. I guess for eight US dollars, you can't expect Ofra or Jeffree Star Skin Frost or something like that, but I was a little bit disappointed by these, but I will swatch them and show you. So I got Spoon, Monster, 
Over the Moon, Hippo, Lunch Money, Wisp, and the one that I'm wearing right now, which is Flexitarian. I'll have to play around with all of these highlighters a bit more. If you guys have any recommendations for me, maybe some reason as to why I'm not very happy. Maybe was I supposed to wet the brush or should I have gone in with my finger? Or could it possibly just be because it's, you know, a brand new product and it's just the top of it? Maybe had I sort of got down a bit further into the pan, maybe they'd be more pigmented, I'm not sure. Just let me know below if you've had better experiences than what I've had. So palettes, I picked up two palettes. So yesterday I used the Kathleen Lights collaboration which is called Dream Street and today I'm wearing Give It To Me Straight. You know what guys, I'll, I'll give it to you straight. These are phenomenal. These palettes are 16 US dollars which is basically like 23 Australian dollars and I cannot rave about them highly enough. They are so good, so pigmented, amazing. This Dream Street palette was an absolute joy to use yesterday. I used a couple of shades and all of them, all of them were amazing. Even the metallics, I didn't need to use Fix Plus. They had so much, so much coverage. There was so much color, so much pigment there. And today with the Give It To Me Straight palette, I feel like I could really, really get used to wearing this a lot. This will probably be a daily go-to palette for me because it was stunning. At the moment, what I'm wearing is the shade Matter of Fact all across the entire lid. Then I deepened it up with Truth Hurts and I deepened up the outer corners with the shade Frank. Then I used Up Front on the inner corner, Candid in the center and Be Blunt on the outer corner. These were so magical. I cannot rave about these palettes highly enough. I definitely recommend if you're looking for some cheap, very, very good quality palettes, you go for these. I did also pick up some super shock bundles. So I got Polite AF and Pretty Fly. I haven't used either of these yet, but what I have used is one shade. I got the Kathleen Light Super Shock Bundle and there's four in that. And the shade that I ended up using today was Satin. No, what's this one called? The sh I actually, Archie, no! Archie! After I did the eyeshadow look with the Give It To Me Straight palette, I used the shade Kathleen Lights and I just tapped it right on the center of my lid. And I was blown away by the pigmentation. I could not believe it. These are magical. The bundle was 18 US dollars, but individually, I think that Super Shock shadows are only $5, which is crazy. I was super shocked when I realized that. So the shades in the Kathleen Lights bundle are Kathleen Lights, Glow, Cornelius, and Blaze. I haven't tried out either of these yet, and I don't think I'm gonna have time yet, but what I can do, if you guys wanna see, I can put sort of swatches or something up on Instagram, so make sure you follow me there. It's just pretty pastel, please. I love the packaging, though. This packaging is so stunning. It's like a book, and I can just imagine having an entire like bookshelf full of beautiful eyeshadow kits. That's, that's the closest to uh, reading a book that I've been in a very long time. Something else that I picked up was these. These are called, what are they? Supernova Shadows. These blew my mind, actually blew my mind. So there's a kit which is called the Retrograde and it was $30 and there was five of them in there. Now what I have on my inner corner right now is Rush Hour and it is beautiful. It is so gorgeous. It also came with Lomal. Juvenile, Party Posse, and Plain Jane. And I picked up three extra ones as well. I got the shade Over Again, From the Valley, and Lucky Penny, which basically looks like someone bottled a unicorn. I used this one yesterday and I did love it so much. It was a really, really beautiful inner corner highlight. I haven't used any of these on my actual eyelids yet, but I feel like I'm just gonna use them for a really concentrated spot highlight on my inner corner. Love them so much. They're only seven US dollars each, which is about 10 bucks in Australia. They are 110% worth it, considering they're just as good as the Steeler Liquid Metals, and those are so expensive. I picked up a couple of brushes. These are all six dollars each. It's funny because they're basically identical to the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes, like literally exactly the same, and I actually like these better. Now, I picked up a few of these gel liners as well, and I wasn't that impressed with them, to be honest. They won't replace my Sephora waterproof gel liners. To be fair, these are only five US dollars each, which is about seven Australian dollars. 
and the Sephora waterproof lighter that I use was 17 Australian dollars. Ten dollars more, but I'm happy to pay the extra ten dollars because the Sephora one is so much better. I actually found these really painful to use because they're so skinny and when you go to put it on your waterline it's like you're stabbing yourself with a needle and I'm not such a fan of that feel. They are waterproof though because like I said when I was crying yesterday at the barbecue place it didn't run off my waterline, it did last. So I can recommend them in terms of their durability, but the color payoff and the pain when applying is probably not such a good thing. So I don't really recommend these. I also picked up a Kathleen Lights lip bundle. There are three lip colors in here. Not a fan, not a fan. I put the shade Dreamy on yesterday and I topped it with Moonchild and Dan walked in the door after work as I was filming. Hi Dan! You can come out from around the corner. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, good. Look who's here. Look, Daniel's home. Look, Daniel's home. Hello. 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 How are you? Jeez. Well. Oh. Show them, show them, show them. There's nothing wrong with being seen wearing lipstick, Daniel. Sam wears lipstick. Can confirm the lipstick is not transfer proof. The test has failed. The test has failed. <laughs> That's terrible. And this poor boy. The boy has lipstick on his head now. Whoopsies. <laughs> look, look at his head. <laughs> That came from Daniel's lips. It went from my lips to Dan to Archie's head. That's terrible. That's so bad. Not a fan. Not a fan. I would not buy these again. Now, I don't know if all of their liquid lips are like that. Please let me know if they are or if they're not. Maybe I might have to try some others and give those a chance, but I wasn't a fan of any of these. Now, for some crazy wild reason, I also picked up a lip vault. It's basically because there were so many lipstick shades available and I could not pick which ones that I wanted. So I was like, I'll just let them decide for me. So I picked this up. Now this box arrived so beaten and bruised, it was ridiculous. All of the lipsticks had fallen out and they were just loose in there. They were meant to have been snuggly in here, but they were everywhere. And the box doesn't even close properly. You probably can't tell from there, but the box kind of hangs open and it sits uneven and there's a rip in it here. I don't know what happened. Nothing else in the parcel was damaged but this. And some of the lipsticks are all like crushed on the inside, so they don't have a nice shape. Like they've literally been smooshed in their containers. So I have no idea what happened there, but this cost me 84 US dollars. That's 120 Australian dollars. And for that much money, I would expect that it would be in good condition. So that really, really annoyed me. There's a lot of lipsticks in here. There's 12 of them. The one that I'm wearing right now, this one is called Third Eye and I love it. Absolutely adore it. It is a beautiful shade. There are a fair few shades in there that I like, but the weird thing is, as nice as this feels on the outside, when I, listen. Oh. <laughs> okay, I did not. I did not mean for that, that. That probably looked like I staged that, but I didn't. Uh, that's why. I was gonna say it's rattling, but it was rattling because this was completely broken off. That's, that's why. Yeah, so, uh, let's, let's just um, pretend that didn't happen. I mean, I know I can fix it. I think you just have to like take a lighter to it and heat it a bit and then stick it back together. But like I said, I paid $120 for this vault and they're all broken and battered and bruised and beaten up. These lipsticks are basically like my self-esteem. So anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I guess I'll just send them an email and just give them some feedback. So yeah, that's a brief rundown of the entire haul, everything that I bought. What I'm gonna do now is take off this look that I'm wearing and then I will pop on a new look. I'm gonna give some of these super sh I'm going to give some of the Super Shock shadows a try. I've got a look in mind that I think Archie's going to really enjoy. So hang around and watch me struggle. <laughs> I suck at makeup. <laughs> okay, makeup has been removed and we are ready to start again. So I'm gonna take the All Star Matte and Blur Primer. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on, get matte. I really don't think that it minimizes uh, fine lines. I do think it kind of fills in the pores a little bit. It's kind of mattifying. 
kind of. Hey now, you're an all-star gamer. Oh, sorry. Foundation. So I'm going to give the shade 35 Fair a try this time. I'll pop it on the back of my hand and it is so, so runny. I was really, really surprised by how runny it is. Hey, don't chew on my buttons. They're not yours to chew on. No, 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 no chewing on buttons. No. No chewing on but I'm going to have to change my top because he will not stop chewing on the buttons. Okay, it's on with the critical roll hoodie. Have any Critical Role fans out there? I find this foundation to be medium coverage. I don't think it's full coverage necessarily. Hey! I don't think it's full coverage necessarily. I do think that it's buildable. It does seem to last quite a while. It does get pretty shiny, but it is a really, really nice formula. Like I love the consistency of it. It blends out really easily. Concealer, I'm going in with the shade four. As you sort of blend it out, it almost dries down to what feels like a powder. It's really unusual. Now, because my under eyes are more wrinkly than the clothes all over my floor, I'm gonna have to set this basically straight away because I do find that this concealer creases very easily. I'm gonna take the concealer up onto my eyes as well and then set it with powder. And I'll just use that as my eyeshadow base. I did that yesterday and I did that today and it worked really well. As you can probably tell, this concealer is pretty light. I did think that shade four would be fine, but I'm probably gonna have to go one or two shades darker than this to get a natural look. So I'll just take the no filter setting powder and I'll pop it on a sponge to go under my eyes. Now, I don't really bake my under eyes. It's not something that I can really do just because of how many wrinkles are on my under eyes. What do you think you're doing? So I'm not really sure how this powder will go for baking. And I don't really think that it set my makeup very well yesterday. So I don't think it's going to work well today either. Have you guys ever tried this setting powder? What's your experience with it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Just going to swirl my brush in there and dust it over the rest of my face. Now I'm taking Afternoon Delight for my contour. Yesterday I found that when I applied this straight onto the foundation, it was so, so patchy. So I'm just going to apply it really lightly now that I've powdered my face and I think that it should blend out a fair bit better. I think this shade is great for my skin tone considering how fair I am. So now I'm going to take that translucent powder and try to sort of cut my cheekbones a bit. Okay, now I'm going to take the Pearlized Parallel Super Shock Cheek. This is such a beautiful colour. It's weird because it's kind of like a mix between a cream and a powder. It's really unusual. And I'm just sweeping it over my cheekbones. Now for highlight today, I'm going in with Monster because this looks really interesting. It's kind of purpley, I think. I don't know if I'm using these highlighters wrong. I just felt like I wasn't getting very much of a vibrant... Oh, that's... That one's better. That's way better than what I used yesterday. Wow, that is so intensely purple. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm glad that I've tried this shade because I was kind of writing the highlighters off a bit. I was thinking to myself, oh yeah, they're average. They're very, very average. But this one, this has redeemed them. So I do kind of think they're a little bit hit and miss. Because they're so cheap, I guess it doesn't really hurt to just buy a couple and see how you go. I'm very happy that I ended up with this one though. Monster, this is awesome. Okay, just gonna dust this off. Okay, now I'm going to take this brow colour and I'm going to just use a Morphe angled brush. Birdos cannot be present for eyebrows because eyebrows are very difficult. So I'm just going to scoop some out of the pot and then I'll just put it on the lid. And now I'm going to sacrifice my firstborn child, pray to the gods, sell my soul and hope for the best. <laughs> I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So I'll just top it off with this brow gel. Now this is very lightly colored. It's got a teeny, teeny, tiny little wand on it, which is really nice for precision. My only concern with this, I find it a little bit chunky. As I apply it to my brows, there's like big flecks of it coming off and it's not really blending out very well. 
Now I've just primed my lids with concealer and powder and what I'm going to do is I think I'll go into the give it to me straight palette or should I go into dream street? No, I'll do give it to me straight just as my base and then I'm going to use some super shock shadows over the top. So I'm going to use a really fluffy brush. This is a JH30 from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection and I'm going into the shade matter of fact. Just going to put that all over the lid. Then I'm taking Truth Hurts and I'll just put that over the top. This shade is so easy to work with, it's really easy to blend out. Now on a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to take the shade Frank and just deepen up the outer corners. I'm just going to extend this up the tiniest bit to try and create a, a little bit of a cat eye effect. I just love how easily all of these shades blend into each other. It's amazing. For something so cheap, I was honestly shocked. Okay, now I'm going to take this white concealer. This is the shade Double Zero. And I'm going to use this ColourPop E3 brush. This is very, very good for cutting the crease. So I just put three little dots and then I've opened my eyes. And then now I can kind of see where I should cut the crease. <laughs> Okay, now that I've somewhat managed to cut the crease, I am pretty useless at it, but I gave it a go. I'm gonna take these Super Shock shadows. Now, I got two green shades, <laughs> Special Delivery and Cusp, and I got these because I thought Archie would love them. So I'll take this Special Delivery shade, which is a lighter green, and I'll put that on the inner part, and then I'll take the darker green and put it on the outer part. I'm gonna use this ColourPop brush, which is the E4, now I'm going to try and use these dry without wetting my brush first just to see the payoff and if it isn't that pigmented I will wet the brush with some Fix Plus but this is a dry brush right now. Oh my god, it's like putty. Okay, I'm not that impressed with it so I will put some Fix Plus. I'm not that impressed with it to be honest. Maybe if I take it on my finger let me just swatch it. Yeah, you know what? It's actually a lot lighter than I thought. It's not such a bad thing, but I did think that it would be a little bit more pigmented than what it is. Okay, now I'm going to use that same brush and I'll dip into Cusp. This looks a bit more promising. This is more of an emerald green. It's almost got like a bluish kind of duochrome, like a blue to green shift. So I haven't wet the brush. Well, I'm not that blown away by these two shades. The shades from the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette, they were phenomenal. And I kind of feel like the shade, I think it was called Mermaid Boy, hang on. Yeah, this shade Mermaid Boy, that was magical. And I thought that these would be more like that, but they're not. Maybe these shades would look nicer over the top of a darker color, potentially. But I'm gonna keep going, you know, I've committed to it, so I'll, I'll keep working on it. I'm really interested to see if going in with my finger on the lid makes a difference. Okay, that did make a really big difference using my finger instead of using a brush. Now, my only concern is because of my nails, I'm going to try and get this light colour on the inner corner, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Ugh. Uh, kind of? Why do we do this to ourselves? Acrylic nails. Why? They are really nice colours and I'll have to keep playing around, you know, trying these maybe over the top of a completed eyeshadow look instead of trying to use them to coat the entire eyelid. Maybe just using these as like a spot highlight or something in the very center of the lid, that might work a little bit better. They are still very pretty, don't get me wrong. And they're only, what, $5 or something. So I think they are very nice considering the price, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush. This is a ColourPop E8. And I'm going back into the Give It To Me Straight palette. I'll just take another one of those brown warm shades. I might use the Truth Hurts. And I'll just pack that all over the lower lash line. And I think I'll just take this shade down right on a fluffy brush and just try to smoke that out a little bit. Not really smoke it out, but you know, just kind of like soften it. Okay, now I'm going to take this eyeliner. This is the shade... This is the shade Teaspoon. It's a green gel liner. Now, I'm a little bit nervous about this because it does kind of hurt to use this. At least it does for me. 
I'll just kind of warm it up a little bit. <laughs> wow, that is a very nice colour. <laughs> See, I find that you really have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to try and get the colour to come off. I will keep using these simply because I bought them, I paid for them, so I may as well use them. But I won't buy them again. I'm going to take the black colour, which is called Swerve, and I'll put that on the upper waterline. And I'm not looking forward to this. This is re it really hurts. Just because they're so thin and spiky. Well, as you just saw, I accidentally got it on my lid, so I guess I'm having black eyeliner now. So what I'm going to do is add some winged liner and some lashes and then I'll come back and we'll put on some inner corner highlight and finish up the look. Lashes are on. I'm just gonna put this on my inner corner. This is the shade from the valley And if the unicorn did a fart and you bottled it, this is probably what it would look like So I found that I can just use the applicator straight on the eye Okay, I think this is magical on the inner corners It's really interesting because as you move your head you can see different colors now I'm going back into the give it to me straight palette and I'll just use a very thin brush Archie me that. I'm just going to take the shade up front and I'll put that under my brow bone just using a teeny tiny little brush. This is such a beautiful shade for under the brow bone. It's really stunning the way that it catches the light. And I'm going to give that Kathleen Lights lipstick another chance. This shade Dreamy, it is a beautiful, beautiful colour. It just transfers so don't expect to be wearing this for a long time but you know, at least while it's on, it'll be a good time. I feel like this colour goes really, really nicely with the green on my lids. It doesn't dry down very fast, which does kind of bother me. But I'm going to take the gloss, which is Moonchild, and I'll just put that over the top. This gloss, it looks nude in here, but it doesn't really have any colour at all. It also smells like plastic. Yummy. Okay, last step is the setting spray. I'm not the biggest fan of this setting spray. It's really aggressive when you spray it. Like, it's like a machine gun. I might just go up in the air and then just kind of like deposit my face into it instead of spraying. Because if you spray it directly on your face, you will basically blast your eyeballs out of their sockets. And it smells really bad too. So, not a fan of this one. And it doesn't really mattify or keep anything lasting at all. But anyway, that's it. That's it, guys. My eyes are green. Do you like it? Do you like it? That is the third and final look. If there was anything that you saw that I didn't use that you want to find out about, just leave a comment down below. I can either do another video or I can update on Instagram. I can take some photos. I'm gonna continue using all of these products. I love that they're so cheap because the amount of times that I have bought products and then been so scared to use them because they're so expensive. But all of this stuff, I'm gonna feel really happy and comfortable using it every day because I know that it's not going to be that expensive to replace it when it runs out. So leave a comment below and let me know what your favourite look was. Let me know if you have any other brands that you want me to review. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you uh, like the green bird, then definitely subscribe. He is in every video and he always will be, yes. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!